Hey y'all. I'm back again with this other um, cookbook binder that I turned into like, you know, farmhouse style journal, uh, like the last one that I did recently. Um, and when this video, when you see this video, it'll be in the shop. So um, very similar, lots of the same elements yet different, but um, all the same sort of stuff as the last one that I did. So I did the scrappy tile. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, did the scrappy tie like I normally do. And it's got, um, you know, the gingham. This is a repurposed pillowcase. And then it's got some of the little chicken fabric, some of that apron and just other, other vintage fabric. There's the bandana and ticking and all that fun stuff. So that's the tie that comes with this one. And then I did the charm, like I did on the last one, and I added, I just put it on this um, bulldog clip, which I wanna call bullpens for some reason. Um, I always say things wrong in my videos. But I added the little, um, the vintage garment pin and the livestock tag and the vintage price tag and the little vintage key. And then it has all the fabrics. So it has the, the same type of fabrics that were on the um, last one, the ticking, the ribbon, the um, really pretty vintage eyelet, some more of that gingham, some rickrack, and just a few pieces of twine in there. So you can totally use this as a charm or you can take it apart and use it in other ways in your book. So there's that. And then there's the nice healthy pack of um, fabric pieces. There's five vintage yo-yos in there. Um, one's really cute, it's got chicken on it. <laughs> and um, a couple of my scrappy flowers and a couple of pieces of fabric washi tape. And a bunch of fun fabrics that you can use in here. Um, there's that. And then you'll get one of these pockets that's stuffed with a bunch of stuff. Some little vintage um, paper, writing paper that came out of a little vintage book. Some stationery. I threw in one of these. Um, I put in one of these work baskets. Um, I didn't show that in the last video. I put that in as extra afterwards. The little horse stationery, the notes. There's a template in here for you to use. More kids book pages and just fun stuff in here. And then I did work out the bag situation. So I, I had, um, I had a you know a piece of this, two pieces of this left, but it wasn't big enough you know, for the book. So what I did was I added some of this gingham to it and extended it so it made it big enough um, to make the bag. So there's a pocket, two little pockets in the front, and then this is the back. And I think this is, I've got a little, some scraps of that left, but I've used most of that up. I love this. This was an old um, curtain. This old curtain, and you can see down here where the um, hanging part was for the valance. It was like a val. Well, I think there was a valance and then there was a curtain. So anyway, so there's the scrappy bag and then this folder that has a whole bunch of other, um, book pages and stuff that didn't get in here. There's a, uh, there's this napkin that's been, um, I think this came in um, something that either I purchased or maybe it was in one of Renee's kits, but you can cut this up. Um, looks like it's a napkin that's been ironed onto something, like a transfer. You can use as a pocket or writing and just other, just other pages that didn't get in here. A bunch of other cookbook pages. Um, just a ton of stuff, ton of fun stuff in here. Okay. And then this you can actually use and make you another cover for another journal. You could probably take that fabric. You could probably take all that fabric if you want to do you a scrappy little cover. Um, and you could use this, use all those little bits of fabric and make you another scrappy little journal. 
And then there's this big envelope that has another envelope with some goodies, more stuff in there. So, a ton of extras, okay? And then there's about 70 some pages in here. Um, let me move my coffee. I got my coffee in the wrong spot. I didn't count these. It's probably around 70 pages because I put, I had pulled pretty much the same amount of stuff for each one of these. Now, in this one, I did make, um, I really love this one. I love the colors. I love the colors in this one. Um, but I did put some pockets in here. So I took some little some little bits and stitched on to this pocket. And um, this is ticking. It's not a, it's, you can't put a ton of stuff in there. It's a pretty tight pocket, but you can put a few things in here. So there's a few little goodies there. And then the same style like I did the last one. Um, with the scrapbook paper and the little tabs and then, isn't that beautiful? I just love these images. Love these images from these books. Um, and then there's some pages from the, um, the farm, the kids book that Renee sent me. I made this into a pocket. I was having, um, I was having issues with my sewing machine and it was giving me a fit. So I ended up just closing this with some, glued it down here and closed it with some uh, fabric washi over here. It's a recipe, printable, and then some feed sack fabric. I made a pocket and then tuck stuff in here. There's some old vintage, um, old vintage, vintage like invoices in here, which is really cool paper to use as collage, a couple of recipe cards. And I think these came from, yeah, these came from a scrapbook paper line. Really fun little, um, little recipe book. Oh, that's two pages or a signature. Mine's just one page. The same little sleeves like I did in the other one. This came from a uh, scrapbook paper line. This is vintage recipe card. There's a vintage recipe, um, another recipe card, some sewing pages that I tucked in here and well, that I punched and put in here. Um, so the idea for this is you can use, you can use this to write on or, you know, add a photo to or glue a recipe to, or you can take these things out um, in case you're kind of new to this. You can take these things out and use them in collage or use them for other projects. So I stuff a bunch of stuff in here, but it doesn't mean you have to keep it all in here. You can pull out things that you want to use for other stuff or to make other things to go in here. Um, or you can leave it as it is and use it as it is. Um, this is a big wallpaper pocket. This is some beautiful wallpaper that came out of, um, this came out of the one of the books that I bought from Shelly at Crafty Mamas a while back. I bought several wallpaper books from her and I have used a lot of that. It's more scrapbook paper, more that chicken fabric, made a pocket. And then there's this cool little, um, menu in here and one of the vintage uh, dairy distributors vintage recipe cards some richard um richard scary so I put this in here because it had the food on one side but you can make this into a pocket and it's got boats on the inside of that but you can you can cut these little things out and make you know um put little cut the images out and put them on other pages. Like you could cut the little pig and the cake out and put him on a page. Just different things like that. This is from my old little um, cookbook. Scrapbook paper, more recipe. Um, this is one of the tab pages that I altered put this really pretty image from a golden book and some fabric washi and then I took these little I have all these tickets and I forgot about these tickets that I bought um and I think I got those from the washi shop they had these little uh, this whole package of tickets and they look like vintage tickets they're not they're reproductions but they're really cool so I kind of made like this little um covered up the tab there 
put a vintage milk cap and I put ledger on the back. I was gonna sew around this, uh, but I didn't because this is sort of thick and this sewing machine that I have now doesn't like this thicker stuff. It, it really, yeah, I was trying to push it too hard. So here's a kid's book page that I just took together. And then I tucked some things in here, just made a pocket. A little farmer there with the sheep. Um, some scrapbook paper. Another one of those little tomato soup um, things that Jessica sent me that I think is super cool. The little pocket, the recipes, recipe book page with a tab. There's some of that um, yellow ledger, which I love. There's another cookbook page. I stuck a little sticker up here. Just the same, you know, the same stuff. Um, and it's packed. It's packed full. There's a pocket. So envelope has got some things. Um, I just stuck some little journaling cards over here. I put this um, really pretty sticker on that side. Love this. This came from a children's book. Yeah, Five Minute Farmyard Tales is the um, name of that book that Renee sent me. Put a little pocket here. Stuck some other little um, journaling cards. More recipe. I thought this is um, Roast Wild Goose. <laughs> I think it's got the shotgun on there. <laughs> Another little... Um, Page with one of my card, one of my cards that I made, and one from a scrapbook line. Some more recipe book, needlepoint book, music. It's a little sticker down there. This is a pocket, pocket up here. One of the envelopes from the um, really super old cookbook with um, the recipes that were actually in that cookbook when I bought it. So there's a handwritten apple custard pie recipe, and then there's a little mocha dessert clipped in there, and some other little news. There's a little place stuck in here. There's like a buttermilk bread from one of the old yeast packages, and then Aunt Helen's fluffy pumpkin pie. I just think these things are really cool. So I left them in there and I just put a little paper clip. Now this one, you can see the flap was gone, but I just didn't want to alter it anymore. I just used the old cookbook page to, to reinforce this down here and punch the holes in it. Another um, image from a, one of those uh, farm books. This really, I love this wallpaper right here. Love this, got this from Katie. And um, I stuck one of these little, the little baking soda books that um, Renee sent me. Really cool. This one has all kinds of like, um, like muffins and breads and yeah, like soda biscuits, first cousins, cinnamon buns, quick rolls, orange marmalade rolls. Fun little, fun little book there. And some other um, recipe journaling cards. Some ledger. I just clipped this. I kind of made this like this little fold up where you could tuck things. So you could tuck things here. And then you could tuck things here and here. But you could totally take this out, cut it up, and use it for other recipe cards. Um, this came from a child craft book. This is from the... Um, barnyard book, Just more sewing, recipe, music, um, beautiful cookbook pages, and then I put some of that gingham um, here, and then I, I attached the little safety pin with the little chicken and the uh, wire wrap button. Oh, this I just tucked in here. I think I was going to do something with that. Here's another. Um, I think I was going to go back and put this in here. Here's another page from 
a really cute children's book, but it's got the <laughs> the cow and the rooster and the ducks. Another pocket. This one has the farmer. Um, vintage. Oh, what do you call those things again? Flashcard. I uh, stuck a little sticker up here on this fruit page. I don't know why I can't talk this morning. Anyway, just, it's packed, y'all. Just packed. Full of fun stuff. I am attempting to use up all this stuff that I have collected. I have collected so many things. Here's another little, um, I just did this little cluster on the back and stitched it in. Need to add a little tab or something up there. I was trying not to overdo it. I really, trying to like give you some embellishments and give you a start. This is a pocket. This has this really cool little um, <laughs> vintage like little image. It feels, it feels kind of slick on this side and flat on this side, but I thought it'd be cute. You could put it on like an ice cream or a, you know, page or dessert page, put it on the side. I'm just stuck that up there and see there's ice cream. I thought she was neat. That was the image from my cookbook. More recipe cards. Another tab page I put a pocket on and put some little um, it's a journaling card. This was a little uh, book page. I thought it was cute um, with the little chickens. I just folded it and stuck it in there. And then one of these vintage, um, this is a paintbrush cookie recipe card. Some more ledger, more scrapbook paper, put a little tab here. More Richard Scarry. This is like the, um, Shopping at the market. <laughs> One of those little bitty, um, those little pamphlet type. This, I think this was a freezer. One of little freezer books on how to freeze things. <clears throat> Some wallpaper. I put the little chicken and the, um, it says home. These little stickers, it says home is where my hands are. <laughs> and this is, um, you can just fold this out. Another recipe, and then I put um, I put one of these little cute little photos that I I sort of backed this on some cardstock to give it a little bit more stability. But this is the um, I think this is the grandpa with his grandkid with the horse. Floral page. Um, add a little tab with buttons on this outdoor cooking page and use some of the sunflower um, fabric that I used on the spine on this one. Another recipe card and then um, a little card from the scrapbook paper line that I used. So as you can see, <laughs> it's just chock full. Here's another little image with the little um, fabric on here and ledger on the back and my scrapbook paper another little tab so it you can move these things around wherever you want and set this up however you want and yeah you might want to take some of it out because it is so full i packed it way too full i stuck a little um piece of scrapbook paper back here and one of the big flash cards i love this with the peas on it that you can use somewhere. So just tons of fun. I love this. I love these that are this gingham. I just I love these old cookbook binders. I just think they're so cool. And then of course you got the straw. Um, the sunflowers. I love the sunflower fabric. I thought it looked great with this. And um, this does have a little bit. Just you can kind of see it's a little bit of scratch across the front. Um, it was well loved and um but that just adds to the character of the book in my opinion so this one is available in the shop if anybody is interested and i will be back soon i i had planned on doing um 
I had wanted to do some Christmas in July videos. Well, July is almost over, and but I am going to do some Christmas stuff, and it's just going to be Christmas in August. So, I will be back soon with um, some videos doing some Christmas things, um, and I'm also working on some custom orders on some other projects. So, I've got like three different types of projects going at one time right now. So, hopefully, um, along with the custom, I'll do some Christmas stuff and some other journals as well to put in the shop. So that's kind of what I'm, where I'm at right now. Um, one of the customs is a baby book. So I'm working on that one plus three other baby books at the same time, because if I'm going to pull all that stuff out, I'm going to make more than one journal. So, and then I'm doing some poo books. I know I'll have the one custom and at least one other poo book. I may do some smaller ones. I have some small Winnie the Pooh books that I thought I might just do some simple sort of basic writing journals out of um, if I get that done, but there'll definitely be a poo for the shop. Um, and then, so it'll be baby, poo, and Christmas. So that's what I got going on right now. Anyway, um, love you guys. See you soon. As always, let me know what you think. Um, and this is in the shop if you're interested. Love you guys. Bye.